there's a real crisis on at the minute about getting hold of compost. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you some tips on how to make your own compost. And if you have got some compost, how to make that compost last even longer. So keep watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. My name is Motin Ali and this is my family garden. And on this channel, you can learn about how to grow your own fruits and vegetables to keep yourself sustained. So if that's what you're into, do me a favor, hit that subscribe for me and make sure you ring that bell so you get the notifications for whenever I put a video out like this. So you might be wondering what I'm doing crawling about on my hands and knees, scraping under these hedges. The first thing that you can do is if you're running low on compost, is start by looking in places like this because this is a wonderful source of organic matter. Look at this. Now that'll make an absolutely beautiful soil amendment. So within the space of about five minutes, I've collected from my own garden two buckets of what I can make a wonderful soil amendment from. And I'll show you how, how I'm gonna do that. So my top tip number one is if you've already got some compost, then the thing to do with this compost is to make this compost go that much further. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix in some ordinary garden soil to this compost. So I'm going to take some ordinary garden soil, mix it in, take out any stones that I find, and I'm going to mix it in equal quantities. So ordinary garden soil, compost, now if you've got sharp sand, that'll be brilliant for this. Now once that's mixed in, so we sift that off, get rid of any big bits. So now that's all mixed in together, that's a nice top dressing for any plant, it's a good starter mix for any plant, as any seedling as well because it's not too nu nutritious uh, and it's nice and light that sand will make it free draining and all these tips work because I know the work, I've tried them all before there was a time when I couldn't afford to buy compost and I used all these little tricks to get me through so this is a, a good starter mix for seedlings now I'm going to move on to tip number two number two is if you're filling a bucket like this then the way to do it is to try and waste as little compost as possible so what I do with these is I even do this method now is I always line the bottom a few inches with wood chips so I always line the bottom a few inches with wood chips and the next thing that you can do is you can either carry on filling up with semi broken down compost or stuff that you found on your compost heap or you can do this and go for kitchen waste now I've got loads and loads of kitchen waste here so I've got I've got peelings, I've got banana peels, I've got eggshells, I've got onion peelings I'm gonna put a load of that in there oops I'm getting the juice all over me so I've got loads of that in there now and now what I'm gonna do with that is I'm going to take the mix that we made of sand and compost and garden soil and I'm going to cap that off. See, this is the same idea as trench composting. So you can plant seedlings into here, you can plant uh, seeds direct into here. The plants will have established and by the time they get down to that layer where we've added all the food waste, it'll be feeding the plants, it'll be breaking down and feeding the plants as they go in. So that's my top tip number two, to use fillers as much as possible. Now don't go for stuff like plastic and polystyrene, it's bad for the, your soil and it's bad for the environment and it's bad for you. As we move on to top tip number three, it's time to use those leaves that you saw me collecting earlier. So most people have got access to a lawnmower. So what I'm going to do is that the stuff that I've collected earlier from underneath the hedge, I'm going to blitz out with this lawnmower. It's crumbling up, but it's still not to the point that, that I want it, so I'm going to give it another blitz.
So now that's broken down quite well. It's, for, it's into small particles. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to quickly sift it off. So what's left are the big particles. And what I'll do with that is I'm going to show... There's going to be a follow-up video to this that shows you how to make quick compost in less than two weeks. And that's going to go onto that pile. So I'll put that to one side for now. Now I've got this small, really dusty particles. I've got a good mix of grass in here as well. And it's into a really small particle size, which is good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some ordinary garden soil again. In an equal amount to this, by volume. I'm not going to add a lot of sand this time. I'm going to add one trowel full of sand. And I'm going to mix it all together. And if it looks like the grass and the uh, leaf, the squished up leaves, are looking like they're a lot, what you can always do is you can always add more soil. So that looks like there's a lot of leaf. Um, I haven't added no enough soil there. So I'll add some more soil to that. So the amounts that you're adding all together are enough so everything blends in to the to the soil and you're going to give this a good mix now what we'll do is we'll sift that off and I'll show you what it looks like see once that um, once it's all mixed in properly so this is what this is one of those things that you can do when you've got absolutely access to no compost at all because what will happen with all that leaves and with those leaves and that grass that we've just mixed in this is going to break down really quickly. Like, like I say, these are little tricks that I used to use when I didn't have access to compost all the time. So now once we give that a little sift through. Break up those lumps of clay. So it's not looking far from something that you could actually plant into now perfect for anything that needs a lot of something free draining that that you can uh, plant into it's ready to plant into straight away so I'm just going to take these cups I'm going to fill them up and I'll show you and I'll in my updates I'll give you progress of how these plants are actually doing so you can see if you can actually see this mix in in action so these are the three cups and I'm going to plant broad beans into here as all this breaks down, it's going to feed the broad beans. So there are my three pots planted into an amended mix of um, soil mixed with broken down leaf matter, some grass and some sand. Don't go digging through the woods looking for leaf litter and leaf matter from there. Because if everyone, it could, because if everyone goes out and does that, we're going to completely destroy the environment. So try and do this, and if you haven't got access to leaves, I'll show you something else that you can substitute for this. The fourth thing that you can try is if you've got uh, some old compost, reuse that. So this is a bucket that we grew carrots in last year, and you can use this compost again. You don't have to throw this away. It can be used over again. I'll show you how we can reinvigorate this compost. So this is the old compost from my old carrot pile, from my old carrot bucket. Let's get rid of any weeds that's, that might have grown in there. So the compost is still looking quite good. So what I'm going to do with that, it's quite simple really. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take some fresh compost and I'm going to add fresh compost to the mix. And this is homemade compost that I'm adding. Now just mix that together. And by volume, I've just doubled the amount of compost I've got. Yes, it might be slightly lower in nutrients, but we're going to feed it. We can, we can substitute that with a liquid feed. So this is going to be perfect as a top dressing. So with my mix of leaves and grass and all of that and topsoil, if you wanted to, you could use that as a bottom layer and then use this to top dress it. And if you're planting small seeds, just plant the small seeds on top there. So that's my tip number four. If you're in a position where you haven't got access to old compost, where you haven't got access to 
homemade compost that you can invig you know that you can mix with sand and soil and spread out and you haven't got access to any leaf matter then there's nothing there's absolutely nothing wrong with growing in just ordinary topsoil ordinary soil dug out from a garden bed but there's some steps that you might have to take before you can grow in it and I'll show you what, what you need to do so this is some ordinary garden soil that I've dug up and as you can see it's crawling with life it's got it's full of worms and most garden soils will be like that so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break up the lumps of clay If you've got access to sand, add some sand to this. Sharp sand's ideal because this is all clay. You want to improve the drainage, so add something that add something like sand to it if you can. And if you can't, just take something like this. Take the ordinary gar garden soil. It'll break up easier if it's a little bit drier. So if you've got a dry piece, it'll break up quite nice. Yeah. But if you've got a wet piece, it might it might be a little bit more difficult. It might just roll up into a ball, like that. So that's an easy way of breaking it up. And this applies to your garden beds as well. You can just work the soil to a fine tilth and just plant into that if you haven't got any amendments. And we can feed using liquid feeds. I'll do a video next on how to make liquid feeds to substitute all of these. But if you're going to use these garden soil into in, in normal pots, then give it a sift. Take out the big bits. So there's absolutely nothing wrong with planting seeds straight into that. It will grow. It's as good as compost. The, especially with if you've got on clay soils. Clay is full of nutrients. It naturally holds a lot of nutrients. So the main problem with clay is the drainage. So if you could add sand, if you can add some organic matter like the leaves that we had and improve the drainage, that'll be great. But if you can't, there's absolutely nothing wrong with just planting in that. Work it to a nice tilth, take a sift, sift it. If you haven't got one of these sieves, get yourself a kitchen colander and use that. So these are tricks that I've used when I've had very little compost myself or when I've not had access to compost at all and they've worked. And I'm telling you this because I've used them and they have worked. Thanks for watching. Do me a favour if you haven't if you haven't already hit that like for me. Make sure you subscribe and ring that bell. It's really important you ring the bell, otherwise you won't get notifications for whenever I put a video out like this. And I'll follow this up with how to make liquid fertilisers from things that are already growing in your garden. I have already got a video on liquid fertilisers that I'm using. If you want, go and check that out. I'll put a link up to it here. But, like I said, I'll do a separate video on how we can carry on feeding these plants in these mixtures uh, from stuff that we're, we've already got growing in the garden. So you're not having to plant additional things. So you're not having to go out and buy extra feed. Things that are already in the garden. So keep an eye out for that. I'll leave it there for this one. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah.